Hi kids, it's Mrs. Gross, and I hope I find you all well and safe. It's been so long since we've all been together in Sunday school, and I just want you to know that I miss you a whole lot, and I think about you a lot, and I pray for you every day. So I was thinking about this morning, um, a little message that I wanted to send to you today, and um, it's kind of a neat story, I think, but Anyway, I was out walking with my friend Kathy, and I thoroughly enjoy those walks with Kathy. But this morning, we decided to go by her house because she had been working so hard in her garden, and she wanted to show me her garden that um, just full of daffodils. So we went by this morning, and sure enough, she's got this beautiful garden. And in this one spot, I noticed that there was a cluster of daffodils but right next to it was this red tulip. And I said to Kathy, how did that happen? And she said, I don't know, I didn't plant it there. So it was unexpected, right? It grew there without ever being um, purposely planted there. But there it was, growing among her beautiful daffodils. So it started me to think, there's something very unexpected living in her beautiful garden. And that's kind of like what's happening with us right now, right? In this beautiful world that we have, this terrible virus has come unexpectedly and affected our lives in some pretty bad ways. Some people are really suffering right now, losing their jobs, not being able to be with their families. Um, people are working so hard to save others, the nurses and the doctors and all the healthcare providers. Even the people in the grocery stores are, are heroes, right? They're working to make sure that we have food at our table. Lots of people like that are very heroic and doing some pretty wonderful things to help us in this crisis that we're in. So back to this tulip. You know, it didn't take away from the beauty of Kathy's garden. In fact, it kind of made me even more aware of the beauty of the daffodils. And I think that that's true about what's going on with us and this um, COVID-19 virus. But even though it's unexpected and we don't like it here, we're learning to live with it, right? We're making the adjustments that we have to make in order to survive. And other people are helping other people in such a beautiful way. There's people reaching out, neighbors reaching out, um, members of our church are calling people in our church to make sure that everybody's okay. Lots of people are doing that. A lot of people are reaching out and showing others that they care about one another. That's a beautiful thing, right? That's like Kathy's daffodil garden. It's beautiful. Even with that red tulip, that unexpected thing. And I, I've been seeing lots of things like that. Like, even when we're out walking, strangers walk by us and say, hello stay safe. I've been finding lots of those beautiful rocks that people are painting and placing them on the road for other people to find that might inspire them and make them feel good. Even some of them are funny. I enjoy that. And then there's some people who are writing these inspiring messages just on their windows so that when people walk by, they feel good about themselves. They feel better about the situation. One of them I saw said, we shall survive. And that's very true. We will. But people are being so kind and thoughtful to one another during this time. And I really try to look for that more than anything. It's difficult to hear the news, right? But if we look at the good things that are happening in the world, it takes away the pain of the suffering that's going on. And you know, you and I talked about how difficult it is to talk about Good Friday, right? We don't want to think about the pain and the suffering that Jesus did for us on the cross. But it is something that happened and we do have to talk about it. Today is Good Friday and, remember, and we remember that day that Jesus died on the cross when he was crucified. But the good news is on Easter, because Jesus did that, we can all say, praise God, he has risen. Because on Easter, the tomb will be empty. And soon, one day, we will be able to rise and say, praise God, we survived. 
And if we all stick together and we all care for one another and do as Christ taught us to do, which is love one another, care for one another. At the Last Supper, Jesus washed his disciples' feet and he said, love one another as I have loved you. That's a really important message that we all need to remember during this time, okay? Remember to love one another, care for one another, do things that help somebody else in their lives. Pray for one another. There's a lot of power in prayer. Love one another. That is the greatest gift we can give. And be safe. Know that we are going to get through this because God is with us every minute of the day. And you are truly loved. And I miss you. And I look forward to seeing you soon. I'll be sending you an Easter message. And I hope that you will look at it on Easter morning. So may the peace of God be with you. Be safe. Wash your hands. Do your homework. Enjoy your family. And love one another. See you soon. Bye-bye.